Why are you not on your iPad? Oh, um, the iPads aren't working. 13-year-old Mandel is using his mom's cell phone to attend eighth grade virtually because his DOE-issued iPad doesn't work. His mom, Tanisha Grant, said she hears the same story from parents across Harlem, Washington Heights, and the Bronx. Yes, and now yes, she's doing something about it. It is my mission that every child in Harlem gets a laptop. And then when every child in Harlem gets a laptop, we're going to move up to Washington Heights. And when every child in Washington Heights, we're going to keep this going. Grant, along with the nonprofit's Moms United for Black no, Lives and Parents Supporting Parents, set a lofty goal of raising $500,000 for laptops for kids in need. This GoFundMe page started Tuesday, has already reached $3,000 with donations big and small pouring in from the community. Anyone and everyone who cares about black lives, who says black lives matter, we're tired of the lip service. Communities of color have been hit the hardest here. And, and have gone through hell and have, so many families have lost family members. While the mayor highlights black and brown children have gone through this pandemic disproportionately, he's made a promise to even out the education playing field. Any child who needed a high quality device and the internet service with it for free would get it. And that happened in a matter of weeks. Grant's daughter, Rain, goes to school in District 1 on 18th Street in Manhattan and received a MacBook within a week. Yet her son, attending Eagle Academy on 135th Street in Harlem, received a broken iPad after waiting for two months. This is not a student problem. This is not a parent problem. This is not a teacher problem. This is a Department of Education, a mayor problem, and they need to fix it. Grant says her work as an education activist has never been so important, and her mission is not just to highlight the inequities in this city but to show people what community can do. Central Harlem has some of the highest rates of students in temporary housing and shelters. English language learners combine that with coronavirus, and these kids are already at a disadvantage. This mom needs your help. If you want to help out, we've put a link to the GoFundMe on our website, pix11.com. We're live in Harlem. Calorama, Pix11 News.